Welcome back everyone. As most of you know, iOS 16 is going to be coming out probably within that June timeframe. So within about seven eight months from now, we're going to be seeing the first beta of this device. And this is what I'm going to tell you. I think this, you know, iOS version may be one of the biggest updates ever. And this mostly has to do with all of the changes that Apple has been doing throughout the lineup right now. So what does that mean? Well, essentially, if you think about it, Apple has been making a ton of changes to the hardware of a lot of their devices. So even starting off with the iPad 9th generation this year, they updated that. That was a pretty big update. And I think in my opinion, the iPad mini 6 got a massive update hardware wise. The iPad Pros got those M1 chips inside of it. The new MacBooks got a massive hardware change as well. And we're seeing a massive shift in, you know, Apple kind of changing up their hardware. The only place they haven't really made too many changes at right now is with iPhones, not only in terms of just the hardware of an iPhone right now, but also iOS. Since iOS 14, I will be honest, that was a pretty big update, but iOS 15 was a pretty big letdown, and I really don't think Apple is going to go ahead and randomly just keep the same, pretty much the same exact design with iOS 15 to the next generation of software. I'm going to be honest, iOS 15 was almost like an iOS 14.1 update, like the amount of things that they added really wasn't anything super crazy that they couldn't have added like four, you know, iOS versions ago. So some of these changes that could happen, in my opinion, we're pro I just feel like we're we're going to see split screen multitasking in iOS 16. Now, I don't want to just continue saying this if it's not going to happen, but I've been saying it for the last couple of years, and I just don't see how they couldn't bring this feature at some point or another. So here's the main thing. With iOS 15, we actually ended up getting drag and drop support. So we ended up getting the ability to drag one thing from one app to the other. You guys know what drag and drop is. Why would they bring that if they didn't bring split screen multitasking? We have this feature on both the iPads and obviously the MacBooks. So I don't see why they couldn't port this over to our iPhones. You know, it's pretty much running the same architecture for the most part. People are also stating that we could be getting a redesigned camera application as well, which I think that would be really awesome. There's going to be some improvements for the software with, you know, certain apps. So AirPods and our AirTags. So if you're somebody who uses those specific devices, well, there's going to be some massive improvements to that. Hopefully with an iOS 16, some home automation widgets are going to be bringing. And I think they're going to really focus in on the widgets for iOS 16 as well in order for us to actually get more use out of them. Apple hasn't really made too many improvements to the widgets, you know, a lot of applications applications have also not been utilizing widgets too much. So I feel like sooner than later, we're probably going to be getting some massive updates to that. And I do think iOS 16 could be the area where they're going to do this. Now, there's been rumors, I don't know if this is going to be true or not either, but potentially we could be getting some better theme options as well. So what does this mean? Well, essentially, you know, just like on some Android phones out there, I know OnePlus was like this too, you could pretty much download certain themes on your device, and essentially you could just utilize those themes all across the board. Now, we do kind of have this with light mode and dark mode, but think about this to the next level. You could be able to change up your font colors, you could be able to change up your, you know, animations, your icons sometimes. Those would be some really massive things. We've already seen some icon changes coming for like things like our status bar and stuff. So I do feel like this could end up happening as well. So I do think for sure, ultimately when it comes down to it, I think iOS 16 is going to be another one of those visual update changes, hopefully. If we can get split screen multitasking, that in and of itself would be the biggest change in my opinion. So that pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.